I wonder, would you, um, would you be a witness for me? Again? Yes, again. The last thing I ask you to witness, however, I must ask you now to forget. Otherwise, you could turn Queen's Council. And I know your sort. I know that you are not a man to avoid turning Queen's Council if a bobby slips you a farthing. We've been through this, and I don't wish to go through it again. You're going to deny me the opportunity to turn Queen's Council. I will deny our ever having met, despite the photographs, and despite the internal injuries that we have both suffered at each other's hands when we have maybe been drinking. Well, since you put it like that, very well. The Show me. The I subject I need you to uh, cover for me is uh, here. If you would uh, have a look at these papers. As you can see, I have been accused. This is, um, this is a, a Mills and Boone's book. I have been accused by Mr. Mills and Mr. Boone. This is called uh, Roses in Sunset. And they were. Her son was furious. This is a romantic novelette about Spanish love. Well, it certainly has a romantic bent. And it certainly does feature something about love. You know that this is a book, not actually an accusation about your mm, sordid love life. This is actually a novel written Uh by... Barbara Cartland. And this is the very nub of my gist. This is to do with the late Dame Barbara Cartland and an appalling accusation that has been made against me. Involving the cat? Well, involving both the cat and the, um, ten-inch kidney wiping incident. Oh, that thing. Dame Barbara was, uh, not amused. I still don't quite see what this has to do with Spanish love. Are you implying this book has been written about you or implies a direct message about you? And were I to read this book, which I probably won't, I would find out sordid and saucy secrets about you and Dame Barbara Cartland. Within this book, you will find the truth. You will find the truth about my visit to Tossa del Mar. You will find the truth about my running in to Dame Barbara, which I did with a car. You will also find that I ran into her in a car without any clothing on the lower half of my body. Mm-hmm. Now, the circumstances that they occurred to lead to me being naked, some would say, from the waist down. Driving a car at high speed through the hills of Spain and plowing into a beloved, respected, elderly female author are not... Well, you couldn't miss her. She was huge. Well, and dressed all... Not just in Spain. Huge, and dressed all in the pink. Yes. She was often in the pink. She liked pink. She loved it in the pink. Dame Barbara. And she jotted down this accusation uh, about me. About how I scooped her up in my arms. Well, you'd have a little bit <laughs> a bit of effort with that one. Well, she was in several pieces by this point. Oh. The leg had come off at the knee. Yes. There was an eye that had gone up her nose. Though you couldn't tell that she'd had mm, surgery. You couldn't, couldn't, no. couldn't tell at all. Well, if you were confused, you could just look at a Picasso portrait for reference and you go, oh, there she is. She looks oh. exactly the same. Yes. So Dame Barbara's on the floor. And she's parts of her. Parts of her are yes. on the floor. And she manages to say, oh, help me, help me. So I took her to my bordello. Mm-hmm. And this is where several incidences took place. I would like to refer to them 
as proposals of marriage, Dame Barbara would not. Dame Barbara would like to suggest that something rather more sordid, moist, 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 moist. sordid, and hot. and hot and sticky. Involving someone called Miguel. Miguel is an ever-present factor in my life. It's your middle name, isn't it? This is why, yes, indeed. And, and I'm there with the false moustache, saying, Ah, my name, I did the accent, my yes. name is Miguel. And she said, well, I'm going to have to write about this. I'm going to jot it all down. And she's written the details into this bloody book. Yes, I see it now. It's a it's here. It's, uh, so all very I need... a flattering image on the front. It, well, uh, yes, I, I mean, mean... You don't quite look like that, but then again... She doesn't, doesn't look, look like that. that either, she no. certainly doesn't. She's got two eyes and one of them's not stuck up her ass for the start. Bit, uh, slimmer, shall we say. An awful lot slimmer and not in the pink, which is where she loved it. But anyway, I digress. So I just need you to um, sign... Yeah, if you don't know, no. Could you sign um, from Dame Barbara for me? You are a strange little man sometimes, but okay. Thank you. There we go. I can flog that on eBay now. 